I love baguettes, they're a yummy French invention. But making these damn things has got to be so obtuse. You don't actually need it, you stretch it out without breaking it, then folding it over, then you gotta let it rest. All the while your fingers become caked in mushy bread dough. Then there's the thing about the sourdough starter, you gotta feed it yeast, then feed it flour, then dump some of it out, and why? Uh, if only someone could make an easy to follow recipe that a complete novice can do. Oh, hey, look. Now then, our baguette beginnings start with bread flour. And yes, it has to be bread flour. We're making baguettes, not hoagie rolls. Anyway, you're gonna need about 17 and a half ounces of bread flour. And yes, it has to be by weight. That's why I have a scale out. Next, add two and a half teaspoons of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of active dry yeast. I'm gonna add a little extra that's for good luck. Whisk the dry ingredients together. Finally, add a cup and a half of filtered water. All right, grab a silicone spatula and mix everything together. You might need to add just a tad more water, that's okay. And continue stirring until it absorbs most of the flour and it comes into a single lump like this. Then cover it in saran wrap and leave it out for 24 hours. No need for that convoluted yeast slurry mixture. No need to, well, knead. All that sourdough flavor and gluten development will happen overnight. Oh, typical lazy American ignoring the French tradition. Hey, should the nation that flicks their cigarette butts anywhere refuse to pick up after their dog and refuse to take a shower, really be calling us lazy? Anyway, leave it out for 24 hours. Huh. Is it weird that I just got around to playing Sonic Mania just the other day? Anyway, it's been 24 hours and our bread has been inflated with yeasty goodness. So, sprinkle some flour on top, pull it away from the sides. Grab a dough cutter and cut this in half. Flour your workstation. And if you're still not convinced my method's good, well, let's do the gluten window test. There we go. So just take our dough, try to get it down into a rectangular or square shape. Okay, once you get it out to a rectangular square shape, fold it in half, then like this, fold it in half again, start rolling it out like this, and place it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now, I know these things look a little bit on the crude side. Don't worry. Before we bake them, we're gonna let these rise for an hour to an hour and a half. So just give them a nice light sprinkling of flour, cover them in a tea towel, and let them rise for at least one hour. Oh, and uh, before we throw it to a time card, one quick thing. First thing you gotta do, take a pan filled halfway up with water and put it on the floor of the oven. Then preheat it to 500 degrees. Okay, now we can throw to a time call. All right, it's been about an hour. Our baguettes have doubled in size. And before we send these off to the oven, let's give them a nice score. Because if we don't do this, your bread's gonna have a blow and it's gonna be looking like Elephant Man. Place our bread in the middle rack of our oven. Spritz them down with some water. Cook it for five minutes. Okay, another five minutes gone by. Spritz it down one last time. Cook it for five minutes. Okay, another five minutes gone by. Spritz it down one last time. Oh, I uh, forgot to film this. After 10 minutes, remove the pan of water from the oven and let the loaves brown for another 15 minutes. Okay, and once our baguettes are golden brown like this, Place them 
Uh, place them on a cooling rack so they can cool down. And once the baguettes cool down, they're ready to dig in. But how do you know if you got it right? Well, let's do what they do in Ratatouille and squeeze the bread. Oh yeah. Do me a favor, wipe the drool off your keyboard. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. And now you know how to make the perfect baguette. Do it, baguette!